YouTube, can you stop being... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, YouTube wasn't working on me for a while. Oh, hey, Mia. Mia the cat. So I'm doing this thing that's called story time, pretty much where I tell you guys stories. Uh, today, we're apparently doing it with Mia. It's cold out here. You okay? Say hi. Thank you. Okay. Um, Mia there is gonna do whatever she does. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you just gonna eat stuff off the floor? I can give you cat food if you want, but just don't. Mia, look at me in the face. Why won't you? Why won't you ever understand cat? No, that's not for you. Okay. Um. But today, I'm doing something a little bit different, which I will start doing now, which is called story time, pretty much where I tell you guys stories. So today's story is, well, I'm actually going to explain it to you first. Um, so pretty much, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a story about something. Like, for an example, um... Undertale, that will be a theme. Undertale use. I know a lot about Undertale and the, all of that trash. Um, I love cat. My cat's good. Yeah. I'm gonna do a lot of things. Oh, my sweater's so big, I could literally just wrap myself around it. Come here. Come here. Aw, oh, she came. Come here. She came. Yay! Alright. So. The first theme today, I don't know what I want to tell you about, but I did want to tell you about something. So, I guess we're going to start with Undertale. Okay. We're going to start with Undertale me story, and I will show you what it looks like, um, not in this video. Okay, so, um, for some random reason, our character was born out of snow. That's right. So in random day, our character just, Snow just crumpled up into a strange looking figure and it turned out to be a wolf. That's right, our character is a wolf. That character wasn't really comfortable. She wasn't really comfortable with her clothes and she didn't know what her name was. So she liked to call herself Galaxy. Galaxy suited her because she loved stuff like galaxies and stars and she just mixed it all together she loves it so moving on from that she one day she just or the day that she popped out she just didn't know what to do so the first thing she did was look around the place where she was at and she seemed to find everything cool because she's never seen snow even though she's made out of it even though she's made out of snow, she doesn't know what snow is. So she went up to a random person and asked. And that person was... Oh, uh, shit, the door's opening. Because the wind and... Oh, and the person that she asked was... That's right, who else would be anything but the one and only Disney Skeleton Sands? She has Sans. And of course, Sans took it as a joke and said, and of course, he took it as a joke and he thought that you were just joking around with him. Eventually, he found out that you had no idea what was going on or who you were or what happened. He was kind of confused because he's never seen you. That's right, never seen you. Frisk has been resetting, doing the same happy ending and you were very confused you're just there so as time went on sans just kept explaining everything and he asked who your parents were you had no idea who your parents were it's some ra you just told him that some random day you popped out of the snow and yeah so moving on from that a few weeks later, you and Papyrus have already met. He loves to give you spaghetti, and you only accept it because there's nothing else to eat. And you are homeless. You always end up having to find somewhere to be because you don't have a job or somewhere to be. So you decide to join the Royal Guard.
once you join the Royal Guard, Undying was the first person to confront you about it, so. Hold on, my cat keeps scratching. Stop it. Stop shoving your claws in my skin. Mm. Mia, let go. Stop it. Don't do that. Okay, back to the story. So, one random day, Frisk came along. Yep, we're going to involve the whole story of what happens and how it all ended. Frisk came along. Frisk was kind of just like, what? Who's this new person? I have no idea who she is, but I want to ref ref <laughs> befriend her. So she confronted you, and you, of course, had to attack her with what? A diamond whip. That's right. So our character has a diamond whip, which is the same thing that Pink has. Pretty much, we're just transporting Pink into a fox. Or a cat. A wolf. Yeah, it was a wolf. So pink also will have a different outfit so um you try to, to kill her because you're in the royal guard and you had to say sorry because you had to do what your job was because you would get paid not only would you get paid as being the leader of the royal guard but you would also get paid money and they would break the barrier and they would all be, be because of you. You would have a lot of gratitude. And you really hated to kill this child because they looked innocent as a fly. What you hated the most was that they couldn't see and they just made that worse. So you got distracted by the fact that the child couldn't see. And the child pressed fight just one time. And it ended up badly because you got hurt. You're not a one hit person but... You did get hit bad. You did get hit badly because you were distracted. Her attacks weaken if she gets very distracted, and she was very, very distracted. She was at one health. Frisk didn't know what to do, so she randomly did this. She hit Frisk in the stomach with her diamond attack, and her soul is a monster soul, of course. But it's outlined in purple. So, Frisk was very, very, very dead. Yeah, that's right. Frisk died. <laughs> so, you were kind of happy because Frisk attacked you, and you were happy and sad at the same time. So, before the soul can crack, you grabbed it with your... You made it flow around your hands, not grabbed it. You healed it, but made sure she couldn't regenerate. Or when she tried to reset, she couldn't reset because you had her soul contained inside a glass container that undyne had given you just in case you had found the human soul and you had captured it so you quickly went to undyne's house and tried to give the human soul to her but everything went white you woke up you were in the snow again oh not in the snow that's what you thought you were in sand's house that's right the world had reset and you were very confused. You asked Sans about it and he got mad at you for killing Frisk. So that's where we end our story. Or actually I won't end it here because I'm kinda of just wanna go on. Okay, so he got mad at you for killing Frisk. Sans isn't the guy to kill people, but Sans know that Frisk is like an angel so he did have the mood to kill you you saw what he was thinking you immediately know what he wanted to do you ran out of the house crazy when you confronted Frisk again you immediately killed him your love got higher you didn't you weren't love anymore you were L O V E because you didn't like the fact that everyone wants to kill you now the fact that Frisk almost killed you. The fact that Sans is defending a human. The fact that you act like I'm dying and you like it. So, what you did was you gave the soul to Asgore instead of to Undying. You told Asgore what happened and what. Not about the reset because you knew he would think you're insane. Sorry, that was my cat. I don't know what she's doing. But. You went straight to him and told him that you killed the human and captured their soul. 
he broke the barrier. Frisk is gone. And it was over. Frisk is dead. That's not the end, though. Once Sans figured out what you did, he was furious with you. So before you all made it to the surface, you died because Sans killed you in the Judgment Hall. While walking through the Judgment Hall, Sans talked about a lot of stuff. And just like that, you didn't die yet. Because you refused to. Sans fighting with you animation will be done soon. And that is the end of our story. That is the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed it. Me and my cat here doing who knows what. If you guys have anything that you want me to do, like animate you, draw you, I can go ahead and do that. I'm only going to show you the video. I'm not going to show you where me drawing you, but I am going to show you the drawing of you. So leave a comment below and I will try to draw you. Or if you have something you suggest, as I should do the story next. Or actually, yes, please suggest something for the next story. Um, Calden, if you're watching this video, I am not going to take a hate comment. Because I know you probably unsubscribed. If you don't know who Calvin is, we're going to do back. Bye.